Good afternoon. It's Jeanette, the brand ambassador for Ethical Flooring, LTD, with week two of Fast Facts and Features with me. So today I'm so excited. We are week two, and that means we're going to be talking to suppliers. Of uh, When you run a hardwood floor or flooring company, you have a lot of suppliers and their support is incredibly important. So first of all, introduce yourself, please. I am uh, Melissa King from Nature's Carpet here in Vancouver, BC. So tell us a little bit about you guys. Yeah, so we are, um, we've been distributing um, natural wool carpets um, across uh, North America for over 30 years. We are based out of Vancouver, BC. Um, Nature's Carpet line is uh, a you know, collection of wool carpets, which we have categorized into a green spectrum. Um, so uh, depending on where they fit, some of these carpets are completely um, natural undyed wools uh, with natural jute backing, um, and some others have a low VOC dyes and synthetic backings. Uh, but no matter what category a carpets fall under, everything is certified for low VOC emissions. So um, it's just a healthier choice for, for flooring. So let's, um, um, I like to say these questions, let's unpack some of your answers, I'm sure as we're going to go along today. Yeah, so uh, the carpet, your yeah, nature's, nature's carpet available at Ethical, yeah. is it wall to wall or is it area rugs? Um, it is wall to wall, um, wool broadloom carpet, but it can okay. be made into area rugs. Um, we deal with oh. a local fabricator, uh, so we can do a nice wool surging on the edges of uh, of our wool carpets as well, um, but it is it is considered broadloom, which is wall to wall. Um, but yeah, we're we can do rugs, we can do it all. Okay, that's that's awesome because I know sometimes um, I was in the the flooring industry for about yeah. ten years, and there's sometimes that people would want to put it in the bedrooms, but they would want that same coordinating carpet uh, yeah. like an area rug in their living room or under their dining room, so you have kind of like yeah. consistency. Yeah. So explain um, someone who would buy a wool carpet, who would that customer be? Um, it actually could be anybody, really. Um, we have a uh, carpet that can fit sort of every style and every budget. So um, a lot of people now are um, leaning more towards uh, natural options for their home, um, especially because they're uh, spending more time at home and um so looking for healthier options and wool is a great one for that. It is biodegradable, sustainable, flame retardant. It is the only carpet that's uh, made without the use of petroleum. Um, oh. Yeah, it's a renewable resource. I mean, it's really endless. It's the original carpet fiber. So um, it's what was used thousands of years ago. So um, it really is for everybody. It's just um, once people have a little bit more information about wool um, and a better understanding, um, then it's it seems to be the right option. <laughs> well, when you think about a farm and how the farmer um, treats his sheep on oh. the farm and he comes and he shears the sheep and <laughs> the sheep goes away again and he goes, makes his little wool on his, on his back and he comes back again. So that's, right. um, that's pretty incredible. I have heard that wool carpets are harder to keep clean. Is that myth? Or is that, that is, yeah, no, that's a myth, actually. Oh. Uh, wool carpet is very easy to clean. Um, the great thing about the fiber, it has these overlapping scales that, uh, you know, allow, um, you know, dust to actually sit on top and not kind of get in, like, sit on the top of the pile so it can be easily vacuumed. Um, but another fun fact about wool fiber is it actually has this protective membrane on each of the fibers. Um, and actually what's in that membrane is often extracted and put into cosmetics called lanolin. Um, so it does sort of have this uh, protective coating on each of the fibers and it doesn't allow for water to penetrate um, into the carpet. So um, you can get to, it almost has its like natural, its own sort of stain guard. So there's no chemicals added. It's a soil resistant, stain resistant carpet. Yeah. Um, so with making in the, um, the uh, industry before, does wool carpet have to off gas? Is there any off gassing with um, wool carpet? Uh, there isn't. I mean, it has a natural smell to it. We've had some people actually love that it, it smells like, <laughs> one customer said, it smells like a barn, but in a good way. And it's much better than breathing in plastic. So, um, right. you know, it is, it doesn't emit any harmful emissions like some synthetic okay. uh, carpets do. 
Um, it doesn't, but there are, um, in some of our carpets, there are some synthetic components, but it's in such a small quantity. And again, um, I did speak about this before, but no matter what category our carpets fall under and um, the levels of greenness, uh, everything's certified for the highest level for low VOC emissions. So. That's, yeah. one of the standards, that's one of the standards that I know Kevin and Tanya look for with yeah. uh, the companies yeah. they align themselves with. That's right. So how, long, how long typically does a wool carpet last? Uh, you know, we've had carpets last for decades and decades um, with the proper care and maintenance. So um, it is an extremely durable fiber. Um, so it really can last you for many years, um, twice as long as synthetic carpets, sometimes even longer. Um, so yeah, it, it just with proper care and maintenance. We always recommend uh, professional steam clean or hot water extraction mm -hmm. every, every year to two years, depending on how much traffic. Um, some people don't do it in, you know, they wait five years because they just don't have a lot of traffic. It's two people living in the house, um, but it will, uh, it will last. And, you know, at the end of its life, um, you're throwing it in the landfill, uh, it's gonna biodegrade, so it's, how perfect, how perfect is that? Um, so when you explain to, uh, explain to me about like the healthy option, like you, you keep kind of coming back to that uh, a couple of times you said that, what does that mean about uh, wool is a healthy option? Well, it's not made with plastic bottles. <laughs> So it's oh, a natural, okay. you know, what I mean, like, you know, synthetic yeah. carpets or um, it's like, you know, a lot of people like that new car smell um, because it's new, but um, people don't want to breathe in all of the chemicals. And so it being a natural fiber is, is why it's a healthy option. Yeah. I hope that helps. Oh, oh, <laughs> I can it, it, it definitely, it definitely does because I know I have some chemical sensitivities, and um, and I di didn't realize that about uh, wool carpet. And it totally makes sense when you said about that kind of barney smell, and it is a good smell. It's definitely. And I've traveled Europe, and when you say about durability, how many yeah. times you know us that have gone to Europe and gone to some of the older, older um, places that have been around, and you yeah. take a look. at carpet it's been there forever and ever and ever and it's such a great it it's such a great technical fiber it's what's used in outdoor clothing it is it has breathable um you know like makeup that doesn't allow for um bacterial growth um it's so yeah go wool <laughs> yeah go wool and also if we kind of think about the cost factor and that's one of the questions you sent yeah. me so is wool more expensive than it, it can be. It definitely can be more expensive synthetic carpet, but it also there's a lot of synthetic carpets that are more expensive than wool. Um, we have like the Nature's Carpet line is a boutique collection. Um, so we don't have a lot of repeats of different styles, but we feel like we have something that can can meet almost every budget. So um, you know, if you're if you're looking at synthetic carpet that's a cut pile um, and you know, depending on where it's made. Sure, that is going to be less than wool carpet, but we do have many options that can meet most budgets. Um, and maybe they are a little bit thinner in like pile height. Um, obviously, the plushier ones with uh, more texture and whatnot uh, would be more expensive. But yeah, I feel like it could be for almost everybody um, and every budget. So yeah. and when you think about it, when you're walking on it, you're almost paying a little bit of the rent of the farm of the sheep being treated really well to make your carpet in your house. That's when um, you look at it. Yeah. Well, and whenever you go out for a really great meal, you just think about the quality of the chef. You think of the quality of where they got their ingredients from and the meal yeah. tastes that much better and you appreciate it that much better. Yeah. And, uh, and I can just imagine when you think about longevity, of being able to hand that carpet down like generation to generation you know, okay. or, or when you go to resell your house your house is going to have a higher it, value. Value. it definitely yeah. adds value um yeah and all the things so <laughs> okay last question um uh, before yeah. we wrap up is yeah. uh, trend, top color trend for uh carpet these days Ooh, that's a hard one. You know, we have seen gray for a really long time and different shades of gray, whether they're warm or taupey grays, uh, and it's not going away anywhere. So, um, which fits within our carpet because some of our um, undyed carpets, there's only so many colors of sheep. Um, all of these goods are made in Europe, um, but with the ones that are dyed, we still find that 
uh, gray is still really popular. I, I do see um, more people now, more designers leaning towards the beiges and totes, um, but gray is still, still one of them in the forefront. So yes, all the neutral options. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Melissa. Uh, you, you gave us lots of information today. Um, head on into Ethical Flooring um, in North Vancouver, and uh, the team over there will be able to take you a little bit further down, helping you purchase your um, your carpet, your wool carpet. So thank you so much. Thank you for and, your time. Uh, thank you, Ethical, and for everyone joining us. We really appreciate it. And join us next to our next Wednesday at two o'clock. We're going to be interviewing one of the team at uh, Ethical Flooring. So enjoy your day, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh,